Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today we are back in Animalica, and uh, yeah, you guys probably noticed there was something special on the screen there that uh, on the screen there that we haven't seen before. Uh, let's just quickly uh, loot these. There we go. So here we go, and 50 graves. Awesome. So, uh, Alpha 4.2 was just released this morning, so kind of a little bit of a Christmas present there with a nice new update. And of course, there's also going to be Christmas presents, so I'm quite excited to go and check out what those are. Uh, but this update, of course, it has a lot of bug fixes. I know most of what I have reported in the last couple of weeks have been uh, fixed, so that is awesome. And uh, there's also a bunch of new animals. There are new... Uh, a bunch of new colors for several of the animals in the game and uh, then there is uh, some of the updates or some of the not updates <laughs> i am so excited that i can't even speak right now uh, some of the areas have been updated with new pois uh, oh look at that and we completed another task nice yes we're gonna have to look up what those tasks are uh, so there's a bunch of new stuff to explore in the game and uh, well less I was talking about let's go in here So if we go into our inventory, you can see I suddenly have this special new currency. I actually have 950 and if we go down here and press tasks you can see we have all these special tasks and these are what give you those special currency now I'm not quite sure where we can spend it I think we're gonna try and go to Corpse Harbor and see if someone there is gonna sell us something with this or maybe it is somewhere else in the game. I don't think it said that in patch notes when I skimmed through them, but I might have overlooked it. Uh, but anyway, there's all these new tasks as I, and as you can see, I've already completed some of them, of course. Uh, but this is kind of a way to guide the player through the game to kind of get started and you know what do you need to actually do but it's pretty basic and everything is pretty much something you would do anyway if you're playing it's just a way to kind of help you out if you feel a little bit lost when you start the game and you're like oh my god what am i gonna do here uh, because it is quite a big game and a lot of people feel a little overwhelmed when they start playing because they don't really have any guidance at all or we didn't before we only had like a little bit of a tutorial and then you're kind of left to your own devices kind of um, but it's not gonna keep you from doing playing the game exactly the same way as you usually would uh, would at all so anyway let's just tre check out the ones that i have already completed so this is of course the very first one you would already get this before you even leave that very first base before you get to nova so, hey Scarlet, as you probably know, the situation is getting very serious. After last year's disaster, when we lost our original land base, now we've also lost contact with our new base on Nova and heard nothing from your two colleagues that were supposed to bring back news from there. The new Supreme Leader Bale declared that any man or creature living outside the five fortress cities is a danger to the future of mankind and will be shot on sight. Since our organization always opposed him and his extreme political views, we are now under a strict surveillance and we can't leave the fortress so you will have to grab some medical supplies and some weapons and wait for new instructions. Captain Jackson is trying to find out if it's safe to land anywhere near Nova. And of course then uh, these things are probably what you would have to pick up uh, when you are in that starting area. Uh, at least it looks like something we got back there. So. Uh, that's why I think you get this one before you even arrive at Nova normally. Then careful what you eat. Hey Scarlet, I know it's not your main concern right now, but make sure you eat healthy. A lot of the food you find might be contaminated, but fortunately for you, fresh fruits and vegetables are quite abundant. All the heavy rain that fell and the climate changes we had after the mass inundation flooded most of the land mass Phenomena that made my old father say that Mother Nature herself tried to wash out Moore's plague, made all the remaining vegetation grow better than ever. The grass is green and tall as a horse, trees are lush, and fruits and vegetables are huge and tasty. Aha! So we got some of this. Build a workshop. After you find a suitable place for base, build yourself a basic workshop. It will work wonders for your progress to have your own little workshop area close to where you live. Yes, that is very true. Make some timber. Time to turn all those wood logs you have collected into real building material. 
used the workshop to make timber. Yes, I'm sure you know, but Michelle told me to mention that it's forbidden to cut any healthy trees since they help clean the air of moss purple spores. Very nice, so this actually tells you that you can only cut down the dead trees. Haha. <laughs> And I'm quite excited about this actually. I wonder if we're ever gonna see anything to, about these um, five fortress cities. If that's something that's gonna be added to the game or if it's always gonna be something we just hear about. Uh, via these like all these lore pieces you can find in the world and now also via these like task messages. Uh, that's gonna be interesting what that is gonna be about. Okay, so travel to Illyria. One of my recon team crash landed on a small Mediterranean island called Elyria a few weeks ago and they reported that the location is completely safe and suitable for a base. I recommend traveling there and see if this is still true. I also recommend spreading your base on a few different islands as a precautionary measure. And yeah, of course you can do that. You can build on Elyria, Apache and Slice Land or you can build a little bit on some of the other islands too even though they're not technically safe especially not from the get-go but you can make them safe but if you want to build in a reasonably big space then those three are the ones you can kind of choose from now that you have a basic workshop you'll also need a place to melt metals make tools and upgrade weapons so it's a good idea to build a blacksmith yes we already did that i highly recommend building a stone masonry it will allow you to turn stones clay and sand into various building materials do not forget about clean water. I suggest you look for one of those water filters and build yourself a water pump to get purified water. Overall, it's way better for your health. To improve your apparel, apparel, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. <laughs> and get better protection, you will need a tannery. Try building one as soon as possible. To be able to make some furniture, you will need a carpentry. So try building one. And I'm very impressed with your progress, but it would be best to start attracting other survivors. If you provide them clean water, food and a shelter, I'm sure that plenty of people will gladly work for you. Try obtaining a settlement agreement and build a grape farm, since grapes are not that easy to find these days. Oh, that's interesting. They actually uh, suggest doing the grape farm as the first one too. Uh, but I totally agree and that's of course why that is one of the first ones I built. So. Uh, then there's a whole bunch of new stuff we can travel most of them are just you know travel to all the different areas the only I don't see one for Apache though which is interesting I think there's for everyone else I haven't tried counting them and check out that there is but it just looks like this uh, and then there's a few of them for cleanse land place land place land base <laughs> cleanse corpse harbor and cleanse where is it cleanse nova so there's at least three of them they kind of want us to cleanse and of course then there's more to travel so if you've already been to some areas it won't have triggered those you can see we've already been to nova uh, we've already been to corpse harbor but they are still set as new and of course you can click on them and then you can read what it says uh, I think we're going to read the one for Corpse Harbor because we're going to try and go there and then I wanted to go to Apache too because I want to see what the Christmas presents are about. Uh, but first of all, a few months ago in one of my scouting missions, me and my team found a small trading hub. I personally found the place more than a little creepy and everything was kind of overpriced but no one showed any hostility toward us so you may want to check if they sell anything you might need. Mm -hmm. So uncompleted, yes, and we will get 100 of this special currency if we go there. So we're definitely going to go there. We're going to go to Corpse Harbor. But first of all, let's head to Apache and see what Christmas presents they left, left for us this year. So if you don't want to see that, if you're going to play or if you're playing the game yourself and you want to go and find out what the presents are yourself, you should probably skip the next couple of minutes of this video. Uh, just a little spoiler warning, even though my videos always have spoilers if you haven't played the game. But that's kind of a big one, even for... Um, all time players, right? This one with the Christmas presents. But anyway, let's just go and see what they left for us. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's right over here. Yes, so let's go and check it out. And yeah, for those of you who don't uh, know this place, this is of course one of these free isle or um, safe islands that you can build in. And uh, you can see there's a lot of flat space to work on. 
there's also this ni these nice ruins that are a little bit de extra decorative over there and there and there's some mountains in the background you can actually climb up into those so you could even easily make like even an animal area if you wanted to like put bears and mooses and whatever else you could think of or anything else you wanted to put up there if you wanted to have your animals roam a little bit free you could actually do that too up there it's probably not the best place to be building much unless it's like tiny tiny like structures that you want to put there for some reason uh, but other than that there is a lot of free space here so it's a nice place to build there's even a little dog here that you can tame and uh, of course there's also a horse over here this is caesar uh, so you can kind of ride around and check everything out if you want to uh, there's some melons there that we can collect and uh, of course then we have a couple of houses there we go so this is just some prefabs that you can choose to decorate there we go this one has uh, they have some nice space actually so it's a nice starting area if you kind of uh, want to build a base here let's see let's check out the other building too so this one we can go in here uh, it'll let me open there we go yes so this one only has one floor unlike the other one but still plenty of space if you want to start out here and then there is one of these Ah, so that is our first T2 settlement agreement. Yeah, there's not that many of these that you can find in the world. Most of them you're going to have to buy from a vendor, but it's pretty nice that you get one for free right here. There we go. And then, of course, let's see. Oh, and I think this one actually has storage. It's one of the storage containers. We can also build these ourselves, but there we go. So you even have a little bit of starting storage if you start out going here. Uh, before doing anything else what is that in the back there ah it's a windmill yeah uh, so anyway let's go over and check the christmas presents so what are we gonna get today oh we got a dark brown reindeer we got a Dal dalmatian dog and a brown reindeer ew i wonder if this is the same ones that we got last year or if these ones are different, because I don't remember what they look like. We have gotten this one first. We got a Dalma Dal Dalmatian dog the first year, uh, actually. And these ones, we got some reindeers last year, but I don't remember if this, it's the same color. Um, I could go back and check, of course, and see what I have in my... I still have my old save file. Uh, but anyway, these are cool, and you at least the Dalmatian dog you can't find in the world. I don't think they've added reindeers yet, but maybe they will. Uh, so that seems like that was all we got today, yes. And I think we can do the same as we always can. Let's, um, let's just take this and use. So here we go. Yes. Let's steal this. Because it's going to disappear when they update the game again uh, in the near future. Then, of course, they're going to uh, remove this from Apache again. But you can actually pick it up. See, 2017-2018 Christmas decoration. But it is actually... Um, it's also 2019 now. But those of you who are playing the same game as you have been playing... Um, if you're playing the same game as you have been for a long time, of course, you will be able to have multiple of these. But I'm only going to have this one uh, since it's a new game. So that was our Christmas presents. Nice. So let's head off to Corpse Harbor and see if anyone there wants to sell us anything from, for the special currency. Okay, so... Oh, nice. Uh, acquire rare plants and okay well we got travel to Corpse Harbor but there's also a new message this is what I was really curious about if it would actually if there would be new you know tasks uh, triggered when you uh, complete something else so we completed this one that's the one we read previously uh, then we got something about rare plants where did you go uh, I can find it Oh, there we go. Acquire rare plants. So I assume that as we play, we'll probably trigger some more stuff when we go to some of these other places, which is really, really cool. So you can't see everything right off the bat, but you kind of will get new tasks as you progress in the game. I really like that idea, actually. I hope there's going to be a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, so acquire rare plants. Captain Jackson told me that there was some kind of gardener in 
that corpse town selling all kinds of rare plants. Lots of plant species are almost extinct because of the massive floods, so it will be a good idea to acquire some flora for your settlement. I suggest getting a rainbow gum and a Monterey cypress. They're both gorgeous trees. So I assume you have to buy those two to actually complete this. Uh, but of course the person we need to talk to is the um, landscapist down here. So let's just go and see. This must be this guy, right? I don't know if he has gotten anything new to s that we can buy. Oh, there's an animal. Oh, I love it. I didn't even know they had added this. I don't know if they added it now or it was added previously. It probably was added previously. I don't remember seeing this one before either. But we have actually been asking uh, for something like this a long time ago. That we would have some kind of cave that you can place down. I don't know how big it is. Uh, but, you know, it just would look nice if you're building an enclosure for wolves or bears or something else that would live live in a cave right so let's see then we have all these nice ones um what do we have down here there's no new clusters i do actually love these they're so gorgeous like a little bit bigger uh, to place in your uh, settlement so what did it say it said something about gum rainbow gum what would we need yeah we're gonna need some wild seeds i do have those at home and then it was asking for something else but of course that's what we're gonna need we're gonna have to uh, buy those couple of things i think and then we will be able to complete that task uh, but we're gonna do that later let's just try and uh, look around a little bit oh there's something new look at this animal trader he's got a new sign here how oh, cool i love when there's little new things that have been added somewhere it's just very cool nice so let's see if he's actually selling anything new a giant panda, duck sound doberman, we know those. Ooh, there's a bunch of horses. Madman's token. Oh. I don't know what that has to do with, but it has to do Oh, and lucky horseshoe. So this is the Shetland pony that we can buy with those. But then there's Madman's tokens. I'm not sure how that works. I have no idea how all that Madman stuff works or where he's even located. He used to be located in Colesburg, but I think they moved him. And I don't remember if it said in some patch notes exactly where they moved him to, but he is somewhere. So we're going to have to go and find him. And then apparently we can buy these. This one looks kind of mean. Doesn't it? It looks like it almost looks like it has red eyes. <laughs> that looks actually a little bit scary. Uh, but okay, cool. Nice. So what else do we have? European rabbit. We have the tigers. We have all the monsters and stuck. Okay, so it doesn't seem like this is where we can buy stuff with those new that new currency. I wonder if we have to go to the madman. Um to buy something i'm not sure oh they have all gotten something jello goods vendor fresh food fresh drinks weapons and ammunition oh cool love it nice let's just take a quick peek here um do, 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 do. Easter. Do, do. yep no not seeing anything new here okay well i didn't really think there would be anything with this that new currency i wonder where that's gonna be well i guess we're gonna have to find out we're just gonna have to like explore the world and eventually we'll find someone who wants that special currency uh, let's check out the last guy down here um let's see he's got a new sign too look at that materials trader and yeah it doesn't look like he has anything new either hmm interesting well i wonder where we will find someone new that is so cool. Ooh, I love when there's new stuff. <laughs> it's especially exciting when you've been playing the game for so long because they keep adding new stuff. So every time you play, there's just it's gonna be, you know, new things that you can find, and uh, yeah, the, the experience just gets renewed that way, which is really really cool. But I think we are gonna head off to Nova and kind of try and pick up where we left off, and then eventually we're gonna. You know figure some of all these things out <laughs> this is so, so cool so so cool hmm okay so is it just me i don't recall there being a one of these buildings over here so let's just go and check that out oh let's do the peppermint uh yep i 
can't help it <laughs> just hoarding a little bit oh look at this i'm pretty sure this wasn't there uh last time we were here so that's cool uh got a little bit of nice stuff and an ammo crate so we got some 45 caliber bullet bullets and some 10 millimeter pistol bullet all right they added some new weapons too actually uh, I tend to just go around with my bow, so I oh send the bad news. Oh wow, we got um we got a new message. Nice. Um, so I don't even remember what it was. But as always, like I said, just go and read the patch notes if you want all the details because ten there tends to be a lot of information in these when they make these big updates. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, doesn't look like this. Oh. Starting over, new message and task completed. Uh, send a bad. Oh, we're gonna have to read that. So I guess we had to go in here, maybe. <laughs> uh, well, before it gives us anything new, let's actually um, go in here and see. Do 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 do. Prayer rare animals. New. Well, we should already have had that one. Um, just kind of trying to split things up a little bit. Where did they go? Okay, getting started. Oh, send the bad news. Yes. Use the command center to inform the Animalica headquarters about the attack. Um. Okay, so yeah, that's of course because you can see that there's been something happening here uh, with this mech and everything. So then we would have to use the command center. Uh, there we go, that's Morse Journal. Uh -huh, I don't see anything else here that's new. And then you come here and then you go in here and that's of course the command center. There you go. But I don't think we can... It, you can't do anything with it. At least not yet. I don't know if they're going to add any functionality to it. But I guess we're going to find out. Everything is kind of new. Then we have starting over. Very tragic news indeed. The worst that could happen just happened. But we can't stop now. Not when the entire planet depends on us. And you especially. Until we are able to provide you with more consistent help, it's up to you alone to continue our conservation efforts. Travel everywhere you can, gather as many animals as you can, cure them, because we can now confirm that your miraculous serum is indeed working, and offer them a safe place to live and breed. While exploring Nova, search for a working transportation method, because I'm not sure that Nova Island alone has all the resources required for our ambitions. You should start by traveling to our old land base and recover anything useful still left there. Ew. Nice. <laughs> There's so many things I want to check out now. Wow. Okay, this is so cool. Uh, and of course we have Cleanse Nowhere, which we are already working on. I'm very much aware that this is no easy task. But you should try your best and cleanse Nova Island of all contamination signs. For nature to fully take over again and wildlife to thrive, we need to offer them the best possible conditions. Burn all the monster nests and remove all the contamination barrels you can find. Aha! Okay, well, I think that's what we're gonna focus on doing. I think we're gonna try and see if we can finish cleansing Nova and then we're gonna head to land base because that's kind of what the quest tells us, right? Uh, and then try and see if we can follow this a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much it's gonna like kind of, you know, guide us along. Um, but right now it is actually guiding us and saying you should go there next. So that's really, really cool. And I think that's what we're gonna try and do. I want to read this one before we finish. Jackson just mentioned that a man in Corpse Harbor was selling several animal species. From what I hear, he does not keep them in the best conditions. So you should try buying them. I do not know how expensive they are, but you should be able to afford a puppy for now. Buy a tax hound dog. I think this one was the one, unless I changed the price. I didn't notice when we were there, but I think it was sausages or something we needed to uh, to buy this one. Uh, so that's one of the things we also need to do. But for right now, I think it's just Nova that we're going to try and finish off. And then we um, are going to head off to land base next, probably. Oh, this is so exciting. I like when there's something new. Uh, but I think that's it for today, guys. It's mostly a little bit of an update and kind of just, you know, um, checking what we uh, what we have already completed. And then we are going to continue next time. Let's just quickly check if there's anything new over here. Oh, there's actually a barrel right there. 
Hey, we had 74% already. Wow. Okay, so we should be a little bit more now. Did I really miss that one? Or did they add it? Okay, we had 76% now. I wonder if they added it because I don't remember seeing it, but I could easily have overlooked it. You know how easily I get distracted, guys. Uh, so let's just quickly see. Oh, there's another one over here. So they did add a little... I'm sure they added a little bit. There's no way I overlooked both of those with all the time we have spent running around here. Uh, not seeing anything new in there. Not animals or con uh, contamination at least. Uh, nothing else. Let me just have some plants. Let's check out the buildings quickly. Mm. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing anything new. There's the chemistry table. Uh, I'm pretty sure we looted all this. There are some notes. I'm sure we already read. Yeah, we already read this. Mm -hmm. It's hard to remember which ones you have already looked at. <laughs> and where they were located exactly. And there we go. We had one over here too. Yep, we have already looked at that. And then of course we have some crates and stuff. I think we have everything here. It's just those two barrels that were new. And then of course that building in the other end. Um, and then we have some notes here. Yes, sirs. Yes. We have read that one too. And... I will handle all the details. We like to have her. Yeah, I think we read that one too. Did that mean? Does that mean they moved the other building? Actually, because we saw the command center up here last time. No, it's still here. But maybe they moved the command center away, so it's not. Oh, they did. Aha! So now it's just kind of a little bit of an empty building. Nothing new in the crates. But ooh, look at that! Tool sets one. Awesome. Okay, well that is it guys, we are gonna head out and continue from where we left off last time, we'll do that next time, so thank you for watching guys, and as always, do take care and happy gaming!